Hey everybody, welcome back to Dragon Age Inquisition. Apparently I missed a dragon, and I don't know how it happened. I don't know how it happened. People pointed out that there was a giant dragon on the screen, I missed it. I was busy killing things, so that happens. Uh, regardless, here we are. We're trying to find Butcher, but we ended up, uh, we ended up here. Looking to talk to, uh, Hawk's Warden Ally in Crestwood. So let's actually just make that, uh, our goal here and let's dive go. in. Yeah. Like you said. Also, uh, a couple people are explaining how the bars work. Uh, those are upgrades that you get at the, uh, war room for perks down the road. So those will be pretty powerful, I think. So at this point, there's really no sense holding on to one for very long because you want to be able to build your, uh... You want to be able to build it back up again. What is this? Examine. Banner of the Blind Men. This banner marks the cave as an outpost of the blind men, notorious smugglers who are known to sell slaves to Devinter. It is possible that the Grey Warden asked them politely to leave so that he could use their hideout, although the blood stains on the wall suggest otherwise. Okay, what do we got here? It's just us. I brought the Inquisitor. My name is Toud, and I'm at your service, Inquisitor. Okay, so can you piece this together for me? Most of you wardens disappear. Then I run into a darkspawn magister named Corypheus. You think that one might have something to do with the other? Mm, I fear it is so. When my friend Hawk slew Corypheus, Weishaupt was happy to put the matter to rest. But an archdemon can survive wounds that seem fatal, and I feared Corypheus might possess the same power. My investigation uncovered clues, but no proof. Then, not long after, every warden in Orlais began to hear the calling. Maker! Why didn't you tell me? It was a Grey Warden matter. I was bound by an oath of secrecy. What do you- okay. So, can you tell me about the calling? Is the calling some sort of Grey Warden ritual? The calling tells a Warden that the Blight will soon claim him. It starts with dreams. Then, come whispers in his head. The Warden says his farewells, and goes to the deep roads to meet his death in combat. And every Grey Warden in Orlais is hearing that right now. They think they're dying. Yes. Likely because of Corypheus. If the Wardens fall, who will stand against the next Blight? It is our greatest fear. So Corypheus isn't controlling them. He's bluffing them with this calling. And they're falling for it. Well... Yeah. Kind of. <laughs> That's very scary. Like, how is it possible that he even does that? Is the calling they're hearing real? Or is Corypheus mimicking it somehow? I know not. Even as a senior warden, I had heard only the vaguest whispers of Corypheus. Okay. The wardens believe that this calling is real, and they will act accordingly. That is all we know for certain. And if this is happening, how is it possible that you know about it and you're not just following blindly? You said all the Wardens are hearing the calling. Does that include you? And also you, Blackwall? Sadly, yes. It lurks like a wolf in the shadows around a campfire. The creature that makes this music has never known the love of the Maker, but... at times, I almost understand it. We must uncover what Corypheus has done and end it. This cannot stand. I do not fear the calling. And worrying about it only gives it power. Anything Corypheus does will only strengthen my resolve. How can Corypheus make all these wardens hear the calling? I cannot say. We know little about him save that he is dangerous. 
He is a magister, as well as a darkspawn, and speaks with the voice of the Blight. That lets him affect the minds of Wardens, since we are tied to the Blight ourselves. It must be how he created this false calling. This is tough, man. So the Wardens think they're dying and have stopped thinking clearly. That won't go well. We are the only ones who can slay Archdemons. Without us, the next Blight will consume the world. Warden Commander Clarell spoke of a blood magic ritual to prevent future Blights before we all perished. When I protested the plan as madness, my own comrades turned on me. Grey Wardens are gathering here, in the Western Approach. It is an ancient Tevinter ritual tower. Meet me there, and we will find answers. Okay, so now that we've talked to him, we can turn to Skyhold and scout the Western Approach. Um, that's pretty crazy, so... What's, what's more I interesting? What said. Hopefully, we'll find some answers in the Western Approach. Though I fear what those answers will be. I've seen too much blood magic to ever trust where it leads. I really wonder because, like Blackwall, he was saying that even him and Blackwall hear it, um, but they're just trying to kind of ignore it. I guess it's not like a control; it's more of just a, well, it's a calling. But I mean, okay, let's see if this gives us something. So many refuse to speak of it, but how can we know it? How can we identify it if we do not share it? The calling is not a source of shame. The song that whispers in the back of my mind is no evil upon my soul, but the mark of a life well lived in service of a greater good. If all things come from the maker, then it is too not part of his... Oh, then is this too not part of his plan? Could it not be a gift, a final haunting melody, to send us into the afterlife with hearts open? Could this not be his song? It scratches at my thoughts, the music almost a voice at once unearthly and beautiful. I found myself humming it aloud a few days past, where once it intruded, it now feels a natural part of my mind's course. It coils around memories I hold dear, training with Sir Keller, riding in the moonlight, my mother's face the last time I saw her, and it inserts itself into them so that I could almost swear that music, that sense of a presence watching and calling, had always been a part of what I remember. This is what the Senior Wardens warned us of, I imagine. I should not find it beautiful. I must remember the corruption and recognize that my mind is slowly losing the wit to differentiate between the world, that which I would consume and destroy it. Oh, between this world and that which would consume and destroy it. I must, I can. I will tell the Wardens tomorrow. I have seen their looks, they already know, I suspect. I will heed the calling and go to the Deep Roads to die with the Dwarves fighting as a Grey Warden should. But if I am to die, after all I have given, can I not at least allow myself the pleasure of the song's beauty? Sir Marjorie Baron. Yeah, it like really takes over then. Okay, I am really intrigued. So, okay. I kind of want to stay on that for a second. Let's see if there's anything else. We should get to the ritual tower in the western approach as soon yeah. as possible, your worship. Terrell's the warden commander, right? What's she like? She was a good warden. Once. Among those King Kaelan reached out to before the blight. She always resented missing the chance to help. When the calling came, Clarell stopped listening to the rest of us. Only magic could solve this problem, she said. Is Corypheus controlling her, do you think? Do you think Corypheus is using the calling to control her? It's hard to say. I have heard the whispers of the calling myself, but it's only noise, no words. Certainly no commands. Either way, the guilt is hers. She's Warden Commander. She should bow to no one's word but Weishaupt's. What's it like being a Warden? I can't even imagine. It's been a long time since I was anything else. It becomes your life, searching out Darkspawn, killing them, ensuring no one ever knows how close they are. Griffiths was in a warden prison, right? So you must know something about him. I knew little, and that much only because of my relative seniority. Most wardens have never heard of him. 
When I suggested Corypheus might have something to do with the calling, the Warden Mages turned on me. I trained some of those Wardens myself. If I knew any more of Corypheus, I would share it, Your Worship. Okay. We'll talk later. I gotta say, like, I'm... It's a bit strange that Blackwall never mentioned that. Let's go. Okay. This is something I'd like to pursue, um... Almost immediately. There's just... I know that there's something nearby that we can finish here. I think it's this. Yeah. Butcher. Let's do that, and then we're gonna go and, uh, figure out what else was going on. If we don't bother them, they won't bother us, hopefully. Oh, pal, just cool your bits. This is kind of cool how- what is that in the middle? Is that like a- I thought it was like a hand that was pointing or something, but... There is a bridge across we could check out. I think that I've pretty much decided that I'm probably going to go towards, um, Necromancy. And if I am going to do that... Let's go to our journal. Where does that... Where's that? Right here. Navarin Skulls, Bloodstone. And that probably would give us an indication. Bloody papers. A stack of papers is so blood-soaked, the pages stick together. Only a few lines are still legible. After knowing who he truly serves, it was an easy thing to discover his compatriots. I lifted a list of their spies from one before I left. We have little time before the theft is discovered, so I advise we move post-haste. I was followed, but do not fear I lost my pursuers and lides. Only our closest friends know my final destination. Okay, so now we can inform Charter. Red Templars. Oh shit. They will show no mercy. We must do the same. Okay, this would be a good time to put them in a cage. becoming uh pretty powerful it's, it's, it's great <laughs> oh damn it nice oh again he charged me I don't know why me. I'm gonna try and get Solus here. Come on. bunch of these together like it's tough
damn it. We're too far. Let's go. Let's go. One down. Blackwall is like being a champion in there. It's good. Holds them as they die, but then it's a man and he wants a woman. Why? When they possess people, they often indulge in feelings they have never before experienced. But it changed. It is blank, black. Oh, I thought he would continue to tell us. Okay, let's go here. We're gonna tell Charter, and then we're gonna set out on the warden path. Have you felt no interest in women since you came through the veil? No. The two of you make no sense sometimes. <laughs> that is a matter of perspective. Well met, your worship. I found Butcher's corpse by the south road. Red Templars ambushed me afterwards. Only our highest operatives knew he was coming tonight. I must inform Sister Nightingale we have a traitor. What's happening in Crestwood? The roads are nearly deserted. Too many undead keep rising from the lake. Okay. I should be going. Farewell. So, expose the double agent. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. I mean, really what I should be doing? I should be heading to Haven, to the war room, to make sure that we've got things going on there. Or Skyhold, I should say. Living in the past, man. So we'll set up uh, a couple of missions and I guess redeem a couple of missions and then we'll take on the the next level of the warden situation. Oh, also apparently back here is where we can set up the things that we purchased for this place. Sir Morris? Oh. Oh, Bells, it's you. Um, <clears throat> Morris. Sir Morris, I suppose. I am serving as quartermaster for Skyhold and its arriving throngs. Stores are growing, and so long as we have fair coin to restock, you and yours will be well served. <clears throat> okay. The previous quartermaster survived Haven. Where is she? She... had views. Has views. <laughs> Perfectly legitimate ones if you share them, Inquisitor. I believe it was felt that your quartermaster should be more palatable now that the Inquisition is in Orlais. She continues to serve, just not at the fore. <laughs> so, because she was outspoken. You got what makes her. you ideal for this position? It's an important one. My family has ties to several freehold militias, as well as cousins acting as officers in Ferelden and Orlais. <laughs> and your qualifications? My family holds treaties with three new money to Vinter houses and a rare Orzima contract with a Paragon namesake. And your qualifications? To be honest, your worship, that was <laughs> my question. I am the nexus of a dozen honest. threads tied by others, designed to cast the widest and most appealing resource net. But I will rise to the occasion. Skyhold will want for nothing. I swear it. <clears throat> How's it going? Do we have what we need? Our capacity increases, as do our requests to suppliers. I've had to threaten some contracts. It was exhilarating. <laughs> as you were. This we guy could be interesting. You, Thank you, that's that's quite nice. 
Let her home. Father, no, I will not come home. I know what happened to Haven. I was there, and I am not afraid of death. If none of us are brave enough to stand, then all of us will fall. I am your son. If you trust nothing else, trust me. The Inquisition is our only hope. I also would like to request that you stop using such language to refer to the Inquisitor. It is not what you think. He is not trying to replace the Divine or the Chantry or become a god. I know it's hard for you to see an elf in a position of power, but I think it's time for you to think about why you feel the way you do about them. Don't you remember the stories of Andraste and the elves who helped her? If the Inquisitor is really Andraste's herald, maybe it's Andraste sending us a message, telling us to let go of our foolish hatreds. I just hope you'll be able to see that this is what I want and what I feel is my duty. I think Mother would be proud, and I know she would want you to be proud of me too. Your son and dedicated Inquisition soldier, Eustace. That's actually kind of cool. He supports me. Pamphlet, lift your voices. Greetings, Sinquisition. Sinquisition? That's good. I hope you're excited for our next meeting. I certainly am in these dark times. Fellowship and song will keep us from the depths and despair, so let us lift our voices and our spirits. Here are the pieces we will be learning in the upcoming weeks. Lyrics and musical notations are available in the archives, so come prepared. The storm's coast claim, circles of flame, the girl in red crossing, ballad of nuggins. Note Harding fought hard for this one, so she will conduct. Twinkling Lucia of the heavens, whither you took my gold. Or the Jolly Tavern. Arl Jason's ride, I shall prevail. Although there were many notes for Andraste's Maybury, votes for Andraste's Maybury, I have decided to leave it off the list as attempts to perform it and tend to leave most choir members a sobbing mess. Sinquisitor Fay. I understand that some of you object to me and called the Sinquisition. <laughs> if you can't come up with a better name, it is not your place to criticize. And no, the Harry Herald is not a better name. That is gold. Okay, so this is not where we do the, um, the upgrades, as far as I can tell. Oh, wait, maybe. Look at these things. Okay, so I guess what we've been getting is just th these requisitions. No, I don't know. These are all sorts of... Like, these are all the requisitions. C prisoner cages to plague elixirs, like... Of course. Another time. I'm just not- I just don't have any of them fulfilled, obviously. Cool if when you uh, traveled here from outside, you could go directly to the War Council if you wanted to, and then have the option to leave to any other area from directly in here. All right, let's collect a couple of these. The Heretic Sister. We located the poor mad soul claiming the Corypheus is a true herald of Andraste. She is no venatory agent, but a woman driven out of her wits by what she witnessed at Haven. Several refugees were with her, all have been brought to Skyhold, where they now see the folly of the Chantry sisters' claims. They're eager to lend the Inquisition their support. Mother Giselle is grateful that we were able to bring the sister back safely. She remembers the young Chantry sister and described her as a gifted but fragile. She hopes that with care and patience, the woman may return to herself, Ambassador Montelier. So we got some gold and some influence. It's always good. Uh, escape routes for the agents in Crestwood. The tunnels are complete and our agents slip in and out of Care Bronarch like shadows. The workmen were digging out the caves, discovered some old dwarven items there as well. Mundane things such as pots and furniture, but they brought a fair price among some collectors. So we got some gold. Okay. Now the Sermon of Navarra. Inquisition forces waited until Virilius left the royal palace in Navarra, waiting, uh, sorry, watching until we were certain his goal was to report to superiors in the Devinter city of Trevis. Then we struck. I'm told that our agent, a reaver named Tamar, cut a bloody swath through their ranks, and Virilius himself was captured. We recovered various artifacts he carried, and reports state that King Marcus came to his senses as if, as if awakening from a dream. The venatory threat in Navarra has been eliminated. A Magister Ice Staff? That's pretty cool. I like it. Okay. So we could... Investigate the Western Approach. That's probably what we could tackle next. But 
What do we want these guys to go and do? We can expose the double agent. An unknown traitor is lurking in Liliana's closest circle of spies, and she must set a subtle trap to catch the double agent. The planning will take considerable patience, but the Inquisition must purge this enemy spy from its ranks. You gotta go. Let's Make it see happen. What we have. Okay. We can gather stuff if we want, but do we have any other things people can do? Not unless we want to use power, which I don't really want to use just yet. So I guess we can send him to gather uh, resources. It's the shortest with her. We should look for whatever's easiest to collect, that's why. Obsidian is rare. If there's anything to be found, we should be looking for it. Okay, so we'll actually go and look for specific things. That's cool. All that's right. good for obsidian. And then herbs. Or herbs, depending on where you're from. Uh, let's see. It's not as risky as black market. It should prove good options. Yeah, okay. Let us begin. Cool. So, uh, tell you what, we'll take a little break, and when we come back, I would like to, uh, pursue this warden thing by going to the western approach. Let's just review that quickly so that, uh, we're all on the same page. And I also want to look at that, uh, that staff. Okay. Okay, so the Fade Knocker is still better. Barrier damage bonus, plus 10% damage bonus of not being hit for 5 seconds. Ooh, that's actually pretty good. 10% damage would take it up to the same, though, as 66. So, really, we'll just keep him like that. But Dorian could probably use it. There you go. Enjoy. Cole's weaponry, I think he still got... Uh, where's the daggers? Here we go. The bleeder and then the Dalish slasher. Or Dalish Slasher, I should say. Vivian has Disciple Lightning Staff. You should give her this. Or you know what? Give her this Dreamweaver Staff. Solus has the Staff of Stasis, which is fine. Varric the Bianca, the Iron Bull. The Rock Crusher or the Last Stand, I think. Well, we have the Last Stand, which has um, willpower, strength, and defense. On hit, and, oh, and you gain guard on hit. That's what's cool about it. Then we've got Hayden's Razor, which is the most damage, and it does AOE damage as well. But that's split against everybody. Hmm. Let's take this one. Plus, it looks sweet as hell. Okay. So, there's that. Now, in our journal. So, the Grey Wardens are all hearing the calling and believe they have little time before succumbing to their corruption. A number of panicked Wardens are gathering in the Western Approach for reasons unknown. So, I, I would like to do that. Then, probably focus on um, the Way of the Necromancer. Then... We have a whole bunch of stuff here that we could do. Um, we are going to the Western Approach. We could take down Leo of Lucian Bay, perhaps. I guess the Western Approach is just going to open up a whole other area. So, I mean, we could probably finish off a few things. We could probably finish all of Crestwood. There's a couple of rifts that need to close. Uh, we need to gather some iron and then find an entrance to the Flooded Caves. Actually, maybe we should do that before we go to the um, the Western Approach. Maybe we should do that. Make contact with Fairbanks, the Empress de Lyon, go to the War Table. So these are all just different areas that we will have access to, but not quite yet. Uh, same thing with Exalted Plains, the Fallowmire, locate the Avar Outpost, Veilfire Ruins found. These are just a couple of random, like, fetch things that we could go and do. In the Fallowmire. The Hinterlands. There's still a couple of things here. I'm honestly not too concerned with a lot of these. They just seem like, um, again, just kind of fetchy. There's a lot of them. The Hinterlands is like crazy. Uh, Hissing Waste will get to be open at some point. Skyhold's got a few things. So, Garden Materials. Um, the Skyhold's Court. So, these are the requisitions that I picked up that I thought we just had. 
but we don't. I need like quarries, I need all this stuff. And then we have to enchant something still. The storm coast. Couple of random things. I would like to get this deep stalker hide and requisition Mercy's crest to challenge the bandit leader. That would be really cool to do, I think. Um, that's something I should probably do sooner rather than later. There are signs that several Grey Wardens passed through the area, but scouts have been able to track them. So maybe we could go back to the Storm Coast. Because this was, um, if I'm not mistaken, was this the area that we had went to for a while, but I, we were kind of under-leveled? Or was that the Fallowmire? Could be that. Could be that, because there was a Fade Rift there as well that we couldn't close. But we'll see. Maybe uh, for a lot of these smaller ones, I could do... I'll maybe do like a longer chunk at some point and, uh, and go through them. But uh, some of them are just really straightforward and go grab this, grab that. But these other ones, like I'm really curious as to know what's going on. So we'll see what happens. But wish me luck, guys. Thanks again for all the support. I'm having a super time, Dragon Age Inquisition. And uh, you know what? I'm super sad that uh, The Witcher 3 got pushed back until, I believe, May. But um, that's kind of, in a way, it's kind of nice because now I can just wholly focus on uh, Dragon Age Inquisition instead of doing my second playthrough of The Witcher 2. Um, we also have this, the skill point to spend. But what I might do, what I might actually do is just hold on to it so that we can invest our uh, a few points potentially in the uh, necromancy or maybe I should get that first and then start leveling it up because it just I think it's gonna be the coolest one honestly but yeah anyways guys thanks take care